Hi, I'm Tim Sweeney, Global Communications Manager for Solomon. We are here at the Annecy Design Center, Solomon headquarters in the beautiful French Alps, as you can see. Today we're going to take you for a tour to see our new free ride equipment for this winter and see some of the facilities here behind me where all those things come together and we'll meet the people that make those products happen. So here we're downstairs in the ADC. It's our laboratory, it's our testing ground. So what we can do here is we can start building prototypes. So here you've got the first prototype of the QST. It allows us to then take the ski on snow, test it with our consumers or our athletes to make sure we give the best, uh, best ski for them. Over here you've got your ski press. So once we get the molds, we basically bring everything over here, add the materials. Here we've got molds for a variety of different skis. So these are things that uh, we take from the R&D department. We start to build the mold down here and then collect the materials that we need to lay out the ski. So the target with uh, this product uh, was to do something really minimalist in terms of graphic design. The challenge was to, to make something uh, beautiful and, um, and functional in the same time. That's why we work really close with the, the engineers on this product. It came out with a really, really good looking ski and I'm really proud of it. To develop a new ski boot, we need three years and we need also to mix three competencies, plastic skills, soft skills and also mechanic skills. An example of complexity, it took us 18 months to develop just the ski work mechanism we had today on MTN and QST Pro. The main thing is to build a plastic part around the foot with the right shape, so we are using uh, computers and specific 3D software. We are then in uh, our specific ski boot workshop, exactly the place when we translate our uh, computer data into directly mold. After we made the mold in our specific machine, we are testing and validating our mold directly on the injection process. So this is the MTN lab. Uh, it's actually our Turing specific helmet. Uh, we have a double standards on it, alpine skiing and mountaineering. What we did is that we worked on the construction, adding our safety technology EPS 4D, plus we had some specific material in order to pass the, the, the test and to get that specific requirement for uh, mountaineering. We also added a merino wool into the liner to have a perfect climate control. Uh, you can also switch the liner for a summer liner that we have available. Then you have the goggle retainer and the headlap ret retainer as well. So what's new in the Freeride collection for Salomon goggles will be next year the XT1. And the main improvement has been specifically in the field of vision. We have extended the field of vision in order to maximize the lateral field of vision. And we have developed a unique concept in the market called Custom ID Fit. And this Custom ID Fit, how does it work? It's uh, four articulated areas pre-cutted in the frame, but also in the form, in order to fit perfectly the different face areas of your face. The history of uh, Frisky TV uh, started 10 years ago with the simple ideas of putting together uh, our uh, athletes, best athletes, into uh, some short web visits uh, through the internet. This is a big season for, uh, for Frisky TV because it's not going to be Frisky TV anymore. We move from Frisky TV to, uh, to Salomon TV, uh, what makes more sense uh, regarding the content. And uh, this year is going to be a, a big year as we have a lot of stories and really good stories. Uh, we went in Greenland to explore uh, new territories and just ex really explore and adventure. Uh, we went in Norway uh, discovering uh, new uh, Kilian new playgrounds. Uh, we went uh, also understanding better uh, some of our athletes' personal story. And uh, I can say that this is going to be the best year in terms of quality and storytelling, for sure.
So for you that's looking to ski powder primarily the majority of your time, you've got the 118 and the 106. If you're looking for a real versatile ski that's giving you both uh, categories, so a bit of soft snow but at the same time hard packed, you've got the 99. So if you're a hard charging woman, you've got the 106 Stella. And if you're looking for a ski that's a little bit more versatile, that's not twin rocker, you've got the 99 Lumen. So the influence from the range is really about uh, lighter weight products. That's kind of the trend in the market right now. But the whole idea of Solomon is the DNA is the downhill performance. So we wanted to give a more versatile product that was lightweight, that works in the conditions that you're looking for. At the same time, we're taking materials from our backcountry range and in putting them into a resort package, let's say.